First up is MathWay. This is basically a math solver that can solve almost any equations. Just type in the problem and choose from the list of choices on how you want MathWay to answer and BAM! The answer is here. You can also use the camera feature if you're too lazy to type in the problem and MathWay can solve algebra, geometry, trigonometry, calculus, pre-calculus, and even chemistry, so it can solve so many types of problems. The only cons I have in MathWay is that there are some bugs, so you will need to restart the app. No solution will be given to you because you have to pay for it and it requires an internet connection. The second one is Photomath, which is another math solver that you can just type the equation or use the camera feature. And what I like about this is that it gives you the solution for free, so you will understand how to get the answer. The only con here is that there are not a lot of choices to let the app answer compared to MathWay, and it cannot answer complicated co equations compared to MathWay. But one pro, he, two pros, I mean, here is that you get solutions for free, and you don't have to have an internet connection to use this app. Third app is Desmos. If you guys are taking algebra, calculus, or trigonometric class, then this app will be your savior. Basically, this app graphs the equation that you input for you to visualize the equation. And you can graph multiple equations in different colors, and you can slide the graph to see the points in the graph. The app also automatically shows you the x-intercept, y-intercept in the graph, and also the common points of the equation in the graph. Next app is Socratic. This app will be your lifesaver if your teacher gives you homework from the internet. Basically, all you have to do is type or picture your problem in the app will search Google and give you relevant answers to your problem or even exact answers to your problem. The next app is Khan Academy and I tell you, this app has been my lifesaver in math and science. If you guys are taking any APs in math or science, then Khan Academy can give you free lessons to help you. And Khan Academy also gives lessons in math and science in all grade levels, and they also do test prep, social science, computer science, and much more. The next app is YouTube. Okay, before you start commenting or reacting to this, there are a lot of channels in YouTube that can help you with your grades. YouTube doesn't have to be your procrastinator, but it, it has to also be your helper in your studies. I personally love Crash Course for History, Organic Chemistry Tutor for Math, Physics, and Organic Chemistry, and Tyler DeWitt for Chemistry. Now, the next app I have here is Pages or Apple's Microsoft Word. So, teachers might prompt you to write essays, research papers, or taking down notes if you're allowed to bring a laptop or a tablet and really you would need either pages or microsoft word to be able to do this because you would need a word editor the next app is keynote or apple's microsoft powerpoint so sometimes teacher will need you to make powerpoints for your um investigatory project defense or for projects or for other stuff so I recommend you either have Keynote or Microsoft PowerPoint because surely your teachers will ask you to make presentations. The next app that you need is Adobe Acrobat. If you need to study apps that may be lesson handouts, research papers, practice exercises, or any kind of PDF, then you have to use this app. This app, using your free version, can organize your files and annotate PDF. The Paid version offers monthly renewal or yearly renewal. Next up is Plant Nanny. So it's important to stay hydrated, especially in school, or else you will fall ill. This app will help you stay hydrated by letting you input how much water you just finished. And if you input how much water, the plant slowly grows. If you forget to drink water, your plant starts to wither. It will also indicate if you have reached your minimum amount of water for the day and it will be able to calculate that by your weight and your activity level. The next app is Cycles and this app is only for girls only. 
So this app is used to track your period cycle, so you will always be alerted when your period is coming. The last app is MindNod. This is a mind map app that I find really helpful in my history class and you can add photos or stickers in the mind map for better reference and you're able to change the font style, color, and style the text. I don't know if this is still paid or not because I got this app for free two years ago when they offered the app for free for one week. And that's all for this video. I know that I haven't mentioned some other apps that you need to survive school, but I cannot in this video because one, some of them are paid. Um, two, this video will take forever. So if you guys want to know more apps that I can tell you on how to survive school, well, just email me or DM me on Instagram at Granger Productivity. And I hope you guys like this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell button to never miss an update and check back to next week's video where I tell you productivity apps that can help you survive school. Um, it's apps that helps you be organized for school and to help you be productive during your study time. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!